Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So about a year ago I installed this solar powered air pump into my pond and it's been working great ever since. You can see it's working now, you can see the bubbles there. Um, it's not very sunny today so there's not many bubbles but um, I've decided to upgrade this system slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, the air pipe that you can see running into the pond because I would like something a bit longer so that instead of the bubbles being here in the corner I can have them over there in the center of the pond and I also want to change the air stone and I'll just show you that now you can see the air stone working there and it's quite small and lightweight so what tends to happen is this tube doesn't doesn't sink very well it sort of semi floats in the water and it's not very long so you can see I can't get it out into the middle of the pond because the pond's quite deep so it's just going straight down so I'm going to change this air stone and I'm going to change this pipe that came with the unit so I've been to my local garden center and I've picked up an air stone and a tube so um, usually when you buy um, an air pump it will just come with a generic tube like a see-through basic tube which is quite short say two meters and a very small air stone so I've gone out and bought a longer tube this one is three meters um, a nice thick one a bit better quality and uh, a bigger air stone so with the tube I mainly wanted a longer tube because the tube provided with mine originally and a lot of other ones that I've seen online they're quite short usually about two meters um, I wanted a three meter tube because my pond is quite big and I wanted to get my air stone sort of roughly in the middle of the pond rather than over to the edge and it's quite deep as well and uh, with the air stone I wanted something bigger and heavier because uh, the air stone that you usually get when you buy one of these pumps is very small so the problem with a small air stone is that when the air is in the pipe um, the pipe tends to lift the air stone off the, the bottom and I want to keep it on the bottom um, I don't want the pipe floating around so this heavy air stone should help to keep uh, everything nice and tight to the bottom and it will also uh, disperse the bubbles in a wider area which will help with oxygenation so a small air stone tends to just um, blast bubbles out straight upwards this will sort of disperse them over a larger area and help to uh, give oxygen to the pond more efficiently So the first thing to do was to um, remove the old pipe from the pump. So to do that I needed to get access to the pump itself. So I'm just taking off the front panel here. And this little housing that I made, it just keeps it dry and out of the elements. So now I'm just going to disconnect the old tube. And then I'm going to add the new tube to the air stone. I've already threaded the pipe underneath the slabs and that's protected by a steel pipe. And now I just need to connect the pipe up to the pump. So now the lid can go back on. If you'd like to see how I made the housing for the pump, I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. So now I just need to check that the air stone is working. And that's fine. Oh, there is the... Uh 
the new air stone and pipe installed and you can see I've positioned it roughly in the center of the pond and you can see it's distributing those bubbles more evenly now so that will give um, more efficient oxygenation to the pond So that is how you can upgrade your air pump very cheaply just by upgrading the pipe, getting a longer, better quality pipe and um, a bigger air stone that distributes the bubbles more evenly. So if you found this video useful, please leave me a like and also comment and also consider subscribing for more videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.